Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Virus 32, and this is from director Gustavo Hernandez, and is coming your way to Shudder, and this is a new horror film about a rapid spreading virus which transforms people into intelligent, ultra-violent, extra-fast zombie hunters, because it's the kind of zombies we have today. And specifically, they have 32 seconds from a lull to full-on craziness, and that is why we have Virus 32. And at the center of this, you have Paula Silva playing Iris, looking for her daughter, doing all of this craziness. And there's not a whole lot of narrative, there's not a whole lot of plot, except for this virus is happening, this woman needs to find her daughter, she's going to find her. And... It's very basic, it's very straightforward, it's lean. This is an hour and like 28 minutes. And it gets to business. There's some intense, well-structured, well-shot, uh, thrilling moments throughout this film. There's some strong horror moments. It does fall into zombie tropes and stuff like that. I don't know if it does the zombie story f fresh or unique in any way, but it's effective. And over the course of this film, you feel for this woman. Silva gives a fine performance. She's a good scream queen kind of role where she is the one dealing with all the craziness going on. And along the way, you feel for her trying to find her daughter, who honestly gets some moments on her own as well that are pretty inspired and just like, okay, I appreciated what this film did, especially towards the end here. But in the end, Virus 32 is one of those kinds of films where it's like, if you just want bare bones, straight to the point, thrills and horror, this is the exact kind of movie that you're looking for. It doesn't bog you down with a whole bunch of subplots, it doesn't bog you down with a whole bunch of things to say, it is very personal, it's shocking, it's well made, well structured, and gets to the point and delivers the thrills that you're probably hoping to get out of a zombie film without bogging you down with too much extra stuff that gives the potential for it to lose focus. Now, it doesn't dig that deep. It could have dug deeper. It could have transcended a lot of its zombie tropes. It doesn't. It plays it safe and delivers some effective and thrilling moments that, you know, if that's what you're looking for, this delivers. But those are my thoughts on Virus 32. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.